Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. For this vlog, I'll be taking you along with me to Hangzhou. I've always wanted to go to Hangzhou and Suzhou for as long as I can remember. There is a saying in Chinese that goes, just as there is paradise in heaven, there are Suzhou and Hangzhou on earth. So you can imagine how beautiful these two cities are. I had a voucher from trips.com for a VIP lounge access, so we checked out VIP lounge number 3 in Shenzhen Airport. There wasn't much to choose from as it wasn't dining hours, so I just got two bowls of noodles and started working away. So we just arrived at our hotel. This lighting is really weird, but bear with me here. Um, we just arrived at our hotel and we chose the Shama, um, I think it's like an apartment style hotel. Um, and let me just give you guys a little bit of a room tour before we completely mess it up. So once you come in, there is this little painting right there that is so Hangzhou style and I love it so much. Over here, there's like a little counter where you can put your stuff. Here is a full length mirror. I've already started like unpacking um, right there. And then here is the bathroom. There's two sinks, a toilet area. Here is the shower area and there's a bathtub. Here's the living room space. There is a washing machine, like a sink. There's a fridge right here. Also a microwave. And then there's the couch. There is the um, TV. So here is the first room right here. And here is the second room. And this room connects to the bathroom that we were just in. So right here. Now let's see how it looks like outside. This is basically the view outside. Good morning guys, welcome to the first day in Hangzhou. After grabbing breakfast at the hotel, we went to Banyan Tree Hotel for a very special activity, which was having afternoon tea on a traditional sculling boat. This was a one-hour cruise on the CC National Wetland that is completely private as our boat was the only boat in this part of the lake, so you can just imagine how tranquil it was. So these are Christmas edition pastries. I think they change it every season. And then we also have some fruits. And of course, there is Sihu green tea. And they also gave us some lemonade. The salty ones are in this drawer right here.
Later on, we headed to Westlake, which is probably the most iconic attraction in Hangzhou. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it's actually the only lake heritage site in China. There's also a beautiful legend that goes along with Westlake, which is a love story between Lady White Snake, who is a snake-spirited woman, and Xu Xian, who is a mortal man. They first met on the broken bridge and fell in love, but an evil monk named Fa Hai attempted to separate the couple, and Lady White Snake was imprisoned under the Leifeng Pagoda. Years later, the couple was rescued, and they lived happily ever after. Later, we went to Leifeng Pagoda, which is one of the top 10 scenic spots of the West Lake. The Leifeng Pagoda was constructed by the king of the Wuyue Kingdom during 972 to 977. It was later damaged and renovated several times. Guys, look at the old style Chinese calligraphy. end off day one, we went to get hot pot for dinner, but this isn't your typical hot pot. We got the Xihu Longjing green tea hot pot, and Xihu Longjing is a type of green tea from Hangzhou. Um, we still got the typical spicy soup on one side. We only put veggies in the green soup, and for potato slices and winter melon that took longer to boil, they turned out to be pretty bitter after boiling in the green tea for so long. Long. I really wanted to take the subway back to our hotel because I haven't taken the subway in mainland for three years and I actually miss it. So that's what we did. And that's it for day one, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning everyone! So it is early in the morning and we are going out and about to Lingyin Temple which is a really famous temple here in Hangzhou and there's a saying that goes um, if you want to go to a temple you have to go early in the morning before noon so that's what we're doing.
Before heading into Lin Temple, you will first see the peak flown from afar, or in other words, Fei Lai Feng. The caves of this mountain shelter about 330 stone statues dated from the 10th to the 14th century. There are over 500 Buddha statues that are carved out of the peak. Lingyin Temple, which is also known as the Temple of Souls Retreat, is one of the 10 most famous Buddhist temples in China. The temple can be traced back to the Eastern Jin Dynasty, where legend has it an Indian monk named Hui Li in Chinese was inspired by the spiritual nature of the scenery, so he gave the temple the name Temple of the Souls Retreat. In the afternoon, we went to a cafe that was located in a tea plantation. However, I wouldn't really recommend this cafe as it was really overpriced and there were essentially only three tables that directly overlook the tea plantation. We got a pot of oolong tea to share and this pot was 100 RMB. So not sure if it was quite worth it, but nonetheless, I saw a tea plantation for the first time in my life. In the evening, we tried a local restaurant chain that serves Hangzhou style cuisine. There were so many choices on the menu and everything was super delicious. My favorite was actually the dessert, which was the glutinous rice balls and sweet rice wine. These little glutinous rice balls were so chewy. After paying for the bill, one of the waitresses told us that we could get a free milk tea coupon with our receipt and also participate in a lucky draw in which I got another coffee coupon. And to end off the evening, I just took a bath to relax and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning guys, day 3 which was our last day was super chill so remember the two coupons that we got yesterday, we went to exchange them today. And then afterwards, I had to get my glasses fixed. Finally, we went to get a foot massage. The place we went to was really nice for a really affordable price. We got a one hour foot massage, but it wasn't limited to just a foot massage. We could actually tell the masseuse where to focus on on our body and she would do so. We also got tea, fruits, and snacks to go along with our massage. And after the massage, we got complimentary light meals. Overall, their service was amazing and I highly recommend this place if you just want to relax for a bit for a really affordable price. Later we went to the railway station to take the high-speed train to go to Suzhou so stay tuned for the Suzhou vlog. So I'm going to end the vlog right here guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you very soon. Bye guys!